Siskas? He was all like, what the fuck? I saw it. Where are you going, huh? Fucking spy, fucking traitor, trying to sell us out to the Norks for a handful of rice, yeah? Let's teach him a lesson. I'll go first. Easy, Bakes. Dana said we caught anyone, we gotta tell her first. You don't wanna piss her off, do you? Well, I just hope she leaves a piece for me. I wouldn't count on it. I don't think I'll be seeing you again. <laughs> Heavy fuck, huh? Be a bit lighter once Dana's finished with him. Yeah. <laughs> down there. I'm Dana. And you are Mr. Spy. You and I, we're gonna play a game. You're gonna tell me what the Norks know about us, and I'm gonna hurt you while you do it. This game will be a lot more fun for me than you, I'm afraid. The question is, will it be quick? Or will it be Really? Really? Slow. Just scream as loud as you want, okay? No need to suffer in silence. Okay. Nipples first. <laughs> hey, Dana. I hear we got company. Who is he? Oh, uh, just another spy. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. How do you know he's a spy? Well, that's what Baker and Skizari said. Those two? Dana, they're dumb as shit. You got anything on him? Say, Doc. Got some ID. What you got here? Ethan Brady. I knew it. Walker's message said he was coming in with this guy. Well, no one told me. Yeah, well, if I could ever find you when I need you. Mm -hmm. You'd only just joined Harvey's crew, right? I'm sorry about what happened, but you survived. We could use a guy like you. I'm Jack Paris, by the way. This is Doc Sam Burnett, and, uh,. Ain't no more you met. No hard feelings, I hope. You're a lucky boy. You okay, kid? Looks like some head trauma. Possible concussion. I got some pills you should take. Hey, Doc, you don't need to open up. He needs to keep his focus. Head injuries can be unpredictable. You feeling confused, kid? Disconnected? He's fine, Doc. You know what's real, don't you, Brady? Looks like he's been through a lot. Last thing he needs is more trouble. Can't you fix him up a new ID and let him go? It's not that easy, Doc. You saw the screens. The Norks want this guy bad. Besides, we need people like him. Ain't afraid to take a chance. He's seen too much already. Yeah. So, what do you say, Brady? You're gonna stick with us, huh? It ain't gonna be glamorous. And you're probably gonna die. Ah! Speeches like that! I'm amazed we haven't won the war already. Yeah, well, that's why we need Walker. Our huh? words ain't my specialty. So, any objections to Brady joining us? Yeah. No? Sweet. Well, if no one's gonna listen to me, I'll be getting back to my work. Good luck, kid. Go so long, Doc. All right, as soon as we get word where they're holding Walker, we gotta find a way to bust them out. Everything depends on him. But first things first, we're gonna get you trained up and show you how we do things around here. I'm heading out. Got that transceiver to take care of. See ya. Walker. Well, it's good you came. Walker must have seen potential in you. He trusted you. My instincts tell me you're out. Hey, Brady, what's the moment? Walker's a spark. People will follow him. We gotta get him back.
Uh, we've been down here for a few months now. This is all part of the Broad Street subway extension. It was mothballed back in 21 when the city ran out of money. It's not on any of the pre-war maps, so the Norks don't know about it. And there you have it, Brady. This is the boot that's gonna kick the KPA's ass. Come on over here. I could use a drink. Well, first things first. Let's get some American steel in you. This is uh, Sidney Cook. He runs the armory. Who's this? That's Ethan Brady. He was helping Walker. Walker got arrested. Yeah, but that wasn't Brady's fault. Don't worry about Cookie. He's uh, generally in a pissed off mood. But he's a genius in improvising weapons, and that's why we keep him around. Ain't that right, Cookie? Always cooking up something new. <laughs> One day you're gonna make that joke and I'll shoot you dead. Then we'll see who's laughing, huh? Take it easy, will you? Brady needs a weapon. What can you spare? You can have this. If it turns out you show some aptitude, then we can talk about upgrading. I know you're thinking a pistol won't do much, but with one of Cookie's special conversion kits, suddenly you got yourself an SMG. There you go. Now try converting your pistol. Charmer. See you around, Sid. Parrish, we're still waiting on that transceiver intel. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Moore's on it. Say hey to Brady. He's a new recruit. The resistance is more than just frontline troops. What's up? People helping the best they can. Take Doc Burnett. He's a good example. That's not gonna win this war, though. The top line is we gotta build up our strength by expanding our red zone operations. We keep ambushing and raiding. And strength is us. Eventually, we'll turn the tables. Come on, over here, Brady. Fresh meat for the ground. And in the yellow zones, we're fighting for the hearts and minds of the people trapped there. We give them the belief that we can win. And when Walker gives the call, they'll rise up and follow. We only get one shot, though. We gotta be ready. Okay, I want you to head to the red zone. Dana will teach you how we operate. Out there, she's the best in the business. Just try not to piss her off, huh? Show me I'm right to trust you, okay? You don't want to go up there unprepared. You should take some Molotovs. Hey, Lorna, help the new guy out. Be best if you learn how to make your own. Grab some ingredients and give it a try. Okay, now just put it all together. Try making one. Okay, now you're set. Molotovs are great against their soldiers, but they don't do shit to drones or vehicles, so watch out for those. Elm trees down here. Good luck out there. 